Tired of Adrian Hyde Photography and we're back in the studio now and just to let you know we are going to go through the full two frames of um, photos we shot last night. So let's get straight to it. Um, so at least you're going to see my reaction as they come on the screen. I haven't seen them yet. So, so we will open up Lightroom, find uh, documents, photography, client, down here, and open up the Lightroom catalog. I've already um, loaded this up. So open this up. Now I'm going to import the photos that we took last night. HD, my users, bit long winded this, da da da. Documents, photography, client, and good. And the keyword this, the bridge. Photo walk. Okay, so that's that. So we're going to select. Uh, we're going to import these. Da -da -da now we're imported. We can now go and select all, which is Commander A. And then we're going to go and rename these library rename rename photos and this should okay. We should do that. It's probably done that. So at the moment, these are all selected. I don't want to select them all, so I'm going to press X to reject them all and now if I just click on something down here it will unselect them. So what I'm looking for is all this one here, these here are all videos which I don't I'm not really interested at the moment. But that one and that one are the ones that I am most interested in. They're the ones which we did the long exposures with. Now let's go into attribute, whoops, attribute, and then just do the star one. And we should just tell you this one. Now, this photo here, this was done, they were both done for um, about 10 minutes. This one, the light was good, and this one here, the, the, um, the sunlight actually started to fade away. So Really, what we needed to do was let it open for a lot longer, but it was getting dark, and pretty much that was that was all that's going to go on. So we'll have a look at this one, full full frame, which is really nice. And this one, now this one's very dark, but I'm going to press D for develop mode, and we'll see what we can bring back. From it, okay. So you can either do auto, right? Now let's go to this. Let's bring the exposure up so we can see a bit more. It's nice. See how much was brought back. Now go down to the whites and press Alt, and then what we're going to do is just bring the whites back. So up, take it down so we can see see some whites. Now the blacks are the same. And these all the back. So that's pretty much it. That's what we can do with that. Now I want this sky to be a bit more dramatic. So we're going to do a graduated filter, and we're just going to drag it down all the way down. Make sure it's level. And now the exposure we're going to just turn it off, make it darker. So already. 
we have already we have a darker sky. Now let's do a bit of contrast. Some more bit of contrast to highlight. Clarity doesn't do very much saturation. Okay. So I get rid of that. Now let's carry on doing a contrast. See what contrast it looks like. Oh, that's quite nice. Ooh. Quite like that. Highlight. Shadows. In shadows. Oh, that's nice. White. That's really nice as well. And black. So see how much the whites are actually there by pressing the alt again. That's okay. So that's as far as you can push the whites and the blacks. You press alt again. That's how much of the blacks are. I really quite like that. Take the exposure down a little more, see what happens. Hmm. Now let's carry on going down here. Now I am going to put this linear, I'm going to put medium contrast. Oh, that's nice. Now let's try strong contrast. Oh, very nice. Not bad too much, that's really looking very nice. Let me take the saturation down just a little bit. I think this might look really nice in the black and white. Or well, maybe not. Hmm. I think that's really quite nice. I think I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to rate that one as a one. Now I'll go back to this one. And this is taken a little bit further back. This one's a little bit more, a little bit further forward. This one's a little back. Now I'm going to do all the same settings on this one here, on this photo here. Now I'm going to do exactly the same, but I was going to do it. You do it one or two ways. You can either highlight them both like this. Uh, so either highlight it and then sync it, or you can just unselect them and then just select that one and press previous and see what happens there. And that will apply all of the all the settings from the last one. And as you can see, it hasn't worked very well, so I'm going to reset that. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to sync, see if you sync them both and see if that works. And I'm going to sync all of the things here. So let's uncheck. Check now. now, the last, last photo we did, we did basic tone, we did all of those, we did tone curve, we did clarity, we did the sharpening. We didn't do any of these, we didn't do any of these, and we didn't do any of these. So let's just synchronize and see what happens. And it gives a really horrible result. So where the this is not going to work like that. Sometimes it works if the photos are reasonably even to start off with, then it works quite well. But as they weren't to start off with, then they really weren't, so it wasn't going to work very well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go through the same thing again. Um, exposure, I think, is pretty good. I quite like it as it is. Contrast, it's pretty good. So I like that. I really like that. It brings out the... I like that there, that. Yes, it's really nice. I want to try and make the, the bridge a little bit more textury-ish. 
shall we say. So we can do that by contrast, so bring the exposure up. Oh, now let's bring this graduated filter in, drag it down, see what that does. Oh, I think it's going to be good. Make sure it's level. Now bring this down. So, oh. Oh, that's nice. That is, oh, that's really nice. I quite like that. I'm not too happy about this area here. So I think I'm going to crop that. So by pressing R, we're going to crop it. Crop it in. Try make it all symmetrical. Oops, don't like that. Let's reset that. Let's, let's, let's go back one. So press done and then press command Z for undo. No. Oh. Now I'm going to pull this in. So the distance here and the distance here is the same. That's really okay. And then pull the sky down so I don't want this bang in the middle so I put a horizon on that third and by bringing that down we can then see if the horizon is straight and it's not so we're going to tweak this up just a little bit to make that horizon straight and that's better yeah that's better a little bit off still Better. So that horizon's on the third. Looking at the bridge here and here, let's open this up just a little bit. That's better. So I'm quite pleased with that. I'll try and make this a little bit more. Oops, here's a bit more rugged. So I press done. And now I'm going to do this the brush now down here, overlay, and now here. Okay, so I'm going to paint in here. I work on this little section here. Press this off. Now expose that. What's that going to do? Let's make it nice and bright. Contrast, really contrasty. Good highlights. Not much in the highlights, shadows. Ooh. Now clarity, this should start doing some stuff to it. We'll pull it down this way, it doesn't do very much. We'll put it this way starts to bring the grains out a little bit more bring the sharp the saturation down a little bit yeah not too bad that's K get rid of now let's carry on now let's look at this at linear let's make it medium now let's make it strong Ooh. I think the medium is better. Medium. You can also pull this. Let me see if I can pull it. Bring the highlights up. Nothing flipping that. Shadows, highlight shadows. See, I'll put the clipping tool on here now. Maybe clip in here. And what you will see is if I go too far, there will be blue highlights that come in. So if I bring the shadows in, you see the blue highlights all around here. Not in any good. So we're going to bring those up. Oops. Bring those up. So let's see more. Now the whites, blacks, oh, I can't see them flipping in there, we don't see them. Now I'm going to press Alt, just hover over the whites. Okay, that's good. 
just have a quick look at it. Now, I don't think it would be so over the clarity. Oh, wow. Uh, what that did, that did something. Oh. It's too much or not? Let's press the Alt key down. Last day, that's really quite. Put this is looking better in the black and white. This one is black and white yet. That's a full black and white. I think it's better how I had it before. Color. It's got a little bit of something. I quite like that. I was going to bring a little bit more of a lights in here. So let's go to K and that brings up the brush. And this is going to be a new brush and then show you this here. Now this is going to paint in just there. Now take this off and then we're going to do that as well. Just a little bit. Not too much. Paint me a little bit more. That brush is rather big. Paint it smaller. I think I'm doing this. Paint me a little bit more. Now is that? Contrast. Now I think. So I think I call it a day with that. I quite like that. Okay, so let's export these out to to where they're going to live. So going back into the library mode by pressing G, and I'm going to highlight these both. This one and this one. Highlight them both down to export. It'll bring up another window and these here from a subfolder that folder choose you have to tell the computer where to put it document so you have photography lion and bridge photo walk and it goes into here so that could choose and there's many, it's, there's many things that you can do on here. Um, I've kept the, the original name. The file settings always at 100%, always JPEG and Adobe um, RGB 1998 color. You can, if you want, watermark it. Um, I have my own watermarks already preloaded, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just press export. And up here, and when this is finished, it will then show it in Finder. Now we can have a look at that. There we go, it's, it's all exported out in Finder now, so we know exactly where to find it. And there's one. It's really nice, I do like that. And this one. And that one I quite like as well. Okay. Let's close all these up. Boom, boom. So every time we we um, exit Lightroom, I always like to make sure it backs the file, the uh, Lightroom catalog up. So if you go into Lightroom, you go into Catalog Settings. If you go into General and back up catalog every time Lightroom exits, you can change that to um, any of these options here. But I like this one every time Lightroom exits. So that's good. I'm going to exit now, and there we go, back up, and there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that, um, I did, 
So that was the full edit of my little photo walk last night. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Until next time, see you soon. Bye for now.